You broke the bonds and you lose the chain. Carry the cross of my shame, of my shame. But yes, I believe it. Still haven't found what I'm looking Okay, so hello everyone, and welcome to day two of the Time to Be Gin conference. Today we will bring a new series of challenges and surprises for you. But before we get started, we'd like to call up someone we met at the beginning of the school year. Someone who worked with us as a gin student group who got us both motivated and moving. Carl Energizer Olsen is a nationally known and respected speaker, trainer, and author. He has presented to nearly, to nearly three quarter of a million people throughout the United States, Mexico, and Canada. His diverse talents allow, allow him to have an impact with a wide variety of audiences. The group that he presents to include all ages of youth, educational staff, teams, nonprofit organizations, businesses, and corporate groups. Carl founded Energizer Ulcer in 1993 by drawing from his successful background and experiences as an educator, coach, administrator, and leadership trainer. The mission of the organization was, to, was designed to empower his clients for success using motivation, attitude, and sound current theory and practice. He's here today to energize us and get us ready for what today holds. Please have everyone welcome Mr. Carl Olson. How's everybody? My name's Carl. Everybody say hi, Carl. My name's Carl. I flew in last night at 12. You guys made way too much noise in the hotel. Um, how many people like to have fun? Raise your hand if you like to have fun. Uh, are you having fun so far? Yeah. I am. Hi, Becky. How are you doing? Um, uh, uh, how many people like magic? I really like magic. Is it okay if I teach you a magic trick this morning? Everybody say simple. Everybody say simple. simple. No, no, you can do better than that. Everybody say simple. simple. You're way too polite. Say simple. Okay, this is a simple trick. You know, the things that you're talking about are very, you know, they're really important. And, and I'm getting a feel for the conference a little bit. And, um, but, you know, the steps that you have to take just make sense and they're simple, right? You know, you, you don't use plastic bottles and throw them all over you, right? Okay. So this is a simple magic trick. And if you're alert and awake, you can do this. And I'm not so sure that you are, though. Okay, real simple. Everybody put your hand out like this. Right? Hand out like this. Kind of like this, okay. Everybody reach over and grab like this, nice and tight. Nice and tight. You got it? Do you have it over there? Then go like this. No, 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 no. Put your hands down. We can do better than this. Shake them out. I know it's early. I know it's early. You got to promise me one thing. Raise your hand. Promise me. Say, I promise not to sit in the back of the room anymore, okay? I want you down here where we can have some fun. Okay, now, see, the reason you, I can do that and you can't because I know something that you don't know. I didn't tell you everything. Let's try it again, it's not that hard. Thumb down, reach over and grab like this. You guys got it over there? Then you go like this and see, I can do that and you can. The reason I can do it and you can is, let me tell you what I like though. Let me tell you what I like. I like the fact that you were listening. Um, I asked you to put your hand like this, you did. I asked you to reach over and you did. I pulled the trick on you. Now, here's the important point right now. Here's the important point. I want everyone to be able to do this. So I want to spread knowledge in this room. Here's what I know. Just because I tell you, we have lots of leaders in this room, doesn't mean everyone's going to get it. There are leaders who think if they stand up and talk, everybody gets it. Have you ever played the telephone game? What happens to the message when it gets over here? Yes. Okay, the human brain, the human brain has 70 trillion synapses. And nobody. It's wired the same. Nobody. How many of you have a brother or sister? Raise your hand. Or if you have more than one child. Tell me that you're the same. 
Not even close, are you? Okay, so what we need to do is I want everyone to, so I need everyone to help with this. So what I need you to do is raise your right hand right now. Raise your right hand and say, I promise. Come on, I promise, I promise. to help other people. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to show you how to do this, and some of you will get it and some of you won't, but if your neighbor's having trouble, if you help them, then everyone will get it, right? Isn't this kind of what this conference is about? Okay, it's really simple. Let me tell you what happened. I asked you to put your hand in. I asked you to reach over here, but I let go and pull the trick, and I pointed over here one time and over there another time, and instead of reaching back over, I reached under. Okay, here we go. Hand out like this. Reach underneath. Thumbs up. Come on. Get over here. Let's go. Hand out like this. Reach underneath, thumbs up. You can do this. Let's go. Help your neighbor if you're having trouble. Hand out like this. Reach underneath, thumbs up. How many people can do it now? How many people can do it now? Who's having trouble? Someone help them. Hear my voice clap once. No, no. Hear my voice clap once. Hear my voice clap once. Everybody. Hear my voice clap once. Twice. Three times. I've had the privilege of talking to groups as big as 5,000, 6,000 people. And you want to know what? I can, keep, I can keep the attention of that number of people for a long time simply by doing that. If you don't get anything else out of this conference and you're going to be a leader in talking to people, you need to control the flow of information, the flow of energy. Hear my voice clap once, <laughs> twice, three times. Okay, we're going to do some real cool magic this afternoon <laughs> when I get to work together with a workshop tomorrow. So come to my workshop, okay? Now, here's what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to talk about the three C's really quickly. The three C's that I think are important. The three letter C's. The first one is communication. Guess what? We can't read your mind. Guess what? We don't know what you're thinking. We need to communicate. And from what I've seen so far, there's a lot of good communication going on. Everybody get a partner right now. Everybody get a partner. If you don't have a partner, three people can work together. Do not leave anybody out. Okay. So, we're going to have an activity where we communicate without communicating. And when I need this, this who, who would be a, would you two demonstrate for, would you, who's your partner? Okay, you two stand up, and they're going to be my demonstrators. Here's what you do, stand back to back. It's not touching you, it's a little space, okay? All right, we're going to do three symbols. First one's moose, two moose. Here, moose. Oh, moose, okay. Second one's elephant. And the third one's cow's now, you've got to think like him, yeah, scary thought. You've got to think like her, really scary thought. When I say go, you have three choices. You can do moose, elephant, or cow, or cow potato. You turn around and face your partner, and if you match, you point to your snout. If you don't match, you've got to go get out of my direction, and you can't cheat. Everybody, raise your right hand. Say, I promise. I promise. To be honest. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it again. Do moose, elephant, cow potato. Okay, I'm going to say go, do the symbol, turn around, see if you can think like each other. Ready, set, go! Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, no! Everybody stand up with a partner right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Everybody stand up! Everybody stand up! All right, back to back! Here's what I want you to do. Everybody do moose, elephant, couch potato. I'm going to say go, and what you do, if you match, you get to sit down. If you don't match, you go get up. Are you telling her what you're going to do? Did you tell her? Because that's not honest. Number one, re I saw hold it, they got right there. Did you tell what you were gonna do? Okay, ready, set, go! Turn around, turn around. <laughs> Sit down and do match. Number two, if you didn't match, you're going again. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Sit down and do match. Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. Don't sit down if you have a match. If you're still standing, pat yourself on the back. I know that you're honest. Last one, ready, set, go. Go ahead and sit down. Give my voice clap once. Give my voice clap once. You can sit down now. Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. See, that's a fun game. You're, you're all gonna be leaders. I can do two things with that. Number one, I can talk about communication, why it's important, why we need to look each other in the eye and express our feelings, why we need to be a good listener when someone else is talking. We can talk about all that. But the other thing I did is this. I provided energy for the group. I, I see smiles on people's faces now. Can I show you what it looked like when I came down here? <laughs> you have to sense that as a leader. You have to sense that, and you need two 
tools to provide energy. Tools to provide energy. So that's one, communication. The second C is competition. If you haven't figured it out yet, we're in a global competitive society. It's kind of, you know, and, and that doesn't mean it's bad. Competition can, most likely will make us better. So we're gonna have an activity where we compete. We're gonna try to win, okay? Try to win, because we wanna win this battle that, that, that you're talking about. So I'm gonna give you three symbols. First one, sir, or maybe you serve. Okay, the second one's wave. Are we wave? And the third one's girl. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, that's not sexist, it's just fun, okay? All right, here's what happens. You're gonna stand back to back, we're gonna go five times, and you're gonna try to win. Right, no, don't go yet, all right? And it's like rock, paper, scissors. Have you ever played rock, paper, Rochambeau? Okay, see, if I do surfer and my partner does wave, I win because the surfer gets the wave. Okay, if I do wave and my partner does girl, I win because the wave gets the girl. It messes her hair up, okay? <laughs> the girl, the girl beats the surfer every time. Hey, girls, girl power, right? Girl power. All right, let's talk our way through it. Everybody say surfer. Beats. We can do this together. Everybody say surfer. Beats. Beats. This is not hard. Let's do this again. Everybody say surfer. Beats. Way. Beats. Girl. Girl. Could you tie? Could you tie? What happens when you tie? No. You hear my voice clap once. How many people have either read or know about Stephen Covey? Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. His son wrote a book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. And see, one of the seven habits that Covey has is win-win. See, this conference is a win-win. This is a win-win. Okay? There's some people that didn't choose to come here, and the only way I can guarantee that you will ever lose is if you don't try. So if you, if you tie, that's great. You don't have to have a do-over. You don't have to have a winner and a loser. It's a winner whenever you try. So we're going to go five times. Let's talk about it once more. Everybody say surfer. Surfer. Beats. Win. Five times. Stand up. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Number one. Number one. Ready. Back to back. Ready. Set. Go. Turn around. Number two. Number two. Ready. Set. Go. Number three. Ready. Set. Go. Number four. Ready. Set. Go. And number five. Ready. Set. Go. Everybody go ahead and sit down. Hear my voice clap once. Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. You guys are getting good. I like that. Uh, we have a problem. We have a problem to report. The adults in this room, you need to know this. I see a problem. I just saw young people play a game, try to win, and laugh and have fun doing it. That's not the problem. See, here's what I get into schools all over the country, uh, and I see more young people sitting out today than, uh, on the bench than ever before. They don't get involved. They don't try because of two reasons usually. Number one, my friends aren't doing it. And number two, I might lose. I can guarantee you this. The only way that you will lose for sure is not try. Please put everything you have into this conference. Please take away great things and make the world a better place. And everybody put your hand out like this right now. You don't reach over, you reach under. It's not rocket science. The third C is care. The third C is care. I got to spend one of the most wonderful weeks of my life at this school last August. I got to talk and work with teachers and with their different clubs and organizations. And I got to tell you something. I really care about this place. I care about the people in it. I care about the people who teach here, and um, they're, you, we're using this great facility, so please treat them with the same kind of care. We need to know how to communicate, compete, and care. Put your hand out like this right now. Thanks for listening to me. We're going to have a great day, aren't we? Thank you. Thank you for that.
that, Mr. Olson. So now that, now that everyone's awake, it's time to introduce a way in which we will engage many more students in what gym is and what each and every one of you does. We will be going to our elementary campus and in, in each of our time to be gym participating in schools, we'll be taking over a fifth, fourth, or second grade classroom. If you do not already receive an email from our elementary students, you can find your room assignments on the screens now. This is your time to inspire a younger generation to start working for the world that we want to leave behind. You will be guided by Global Village leaders towards the campus. Please be sure to follow them all the way to the classroom where you are going. After your time in elementary campus is over, students, please head to your Global Village meetings in your assigned rooms. Advisors, please make way to the meeting of the minds in the library. Okay, so school's going to fifth grade. Please stand up. Columbus School, 5A. Pan Americano, 5B. Balboa Academy, 5C. Uvem, 5B. Okay. Catherine Cook, 5B. And all of you are going to follow Daniel Aguirre. Daniela, could you please wave? She's right in the back, everyone. Grade 5, wave. Daniela Aguirre. 